Hello everyone, this time you can watch me make an acrylic star painting. I'm going to experiment with the bloom technique mixture and I'm also going to use my mica pigments in this mixture, so I'm very curious. I'm going to combine the boom gel stain paints together with this mixture. So I hope you will enjoy this experiment and give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with pouring uh, the base paint onto my MDF star um, surface and it's about 20 centimeters. And for the base paint, the pillow, I used um, a white satin wall paint and a white latex paint. And I used uh, a ratio of 1 to 1. And I added a little bit of water in it. And I combined these two uh, paints because latex paint is a little bit more flexible than a wall paint. And I hope uh, it doesn't crack during drying. And that's why I've added the latex paint. So it's very thick. Because I learned by watching a lot of videos then that the base paint, the pillow, needs to be the thickest. And on top, uh, the colors that needs to be a medium viscosity, like warm honey. And then on top, a cell activator, and that needs to be the thinnest. But yeah, this is an experiment I... Uh, um, didn't pour acrylics for a long time and I'm also very excited to use my own uh, mica pigments in uh, that bloom technique mixture and hopefully that will give me a, a nice result but yeah it's all about experimenting and that's why I'm not going to show you how I mix the colors until I'm uh, satisfied, totally satisfied, then I will show you uh, how I mix it. So I'm almost done with the pillow. And then I'm going to add uh, the colors. And what I already mentioned, I'm going to combine the Boom Gel Stain Paints together with my uh, mica pigment. So the first color is the Boom Gel Stain uh, paint in the color Pearlescent Teal. And I didn't mix anything into it. I uh, use it straight out of the jar or the bottle because these paints are already pre-mixed. So I don't have to add anything to it. But um, to mix the mica pigments, this is one of my mica pigments, it's the Crocus Magic. I added one teaspoon of pigment and I added a little bit of the Joe Sonia's polyurethane varnish to it to disperse those pigments. And then I added an untinted base paint to it. And um, I... Uh, because it was after that I mixed it, I, it was very thick, so I added a little bit more of the Joe Sonia's with a little bit of water and to the consistency of warm honey. So this color is also a boom gel stain, it's the color Crab Blue. And this is also one of my mica pigments, it's the Wild Fuchsia. So I hope I add enough color to it, but we will find out. But it needs to have the consistency of warm honey. On top the cell activator and I used again the Boom Gel Stain in the color, uh, what is it called, Willy Wagtail Black. And uh, they also have a Boom Cell Activator. And, and I mixed it in, in the ratio of 1 to 1. So one part Boom Cell Activator and one part Willy Wagtail Black. And also a white 
cell activator and I used for that the Stealing Wax White. And now I'm going to use the swipe technique. Doesn't happen much yet. The white cell activator doesn't give me much lacing. Hopefully that will change. Now I'm dragging the black cell activator over the colors into the white base paint. Yeah, and I'm getting some small cells now. There also, I hope they will grow bigger. Turning my turning table to see what kind of effects I can create with that. And the lacing, the cells are getting larger, so that's good. But it's all uh, new for me, this technique. I, uh, in the past, I tried it. But, um, yeah, I want to try it again to see if my pigments also work in this uh, mixture. And the untinted base paint, I uh, got it from my uh, paint store. I went to the paint store and asked for an uh, untinted base paint. And they use it normally to uh, mix their colors in the mixing machine. So I got it and now I uh, mix some of my uh, pigments into it. And I'm, tr and I'm trying it. So the cells are getting a little bit larger, so that's good. But the white cell activator doesn't do much. Tilting it a little bit. So in the outside of you, you, you use uh, other uh, supplies for the Bloom Technique mixture. So I couldn't get those. So that's, uh, yeah, I can add those supplies to the description box below this video. But yeah, you use uh, other uh, untinted base paint. So you need an untinted base paint with no titanium in it. You can check it by uh, picking some out of your... Uh, jar and leave it to dry. If it dries clear, then you have the right one. So if there is titanium in it, it will dry white, so that's not good. If you add pigments to that, then you will all get uh, pastel uh, colors, and that's not nice. So I'm going to tilt my star painting to hopefully get some larger uh, cells and this takes some time because the uh, time because the paint is very thick it needs to be thick but if you want to know more about this technique then you I think you need to uh, watch Lisa Marvin I will add a, a link to the description box and of course got uh, Sheely Carruthers I, I hope I pronounce her name right Because she is the inventor of this uh, technique. And my lacing is getting uh, much nicer now. There you can see it. I'm liking it. So for my first experiment, I'm very pleased. Hopefully it will dry very nice because I want to add a resin layer on top of it. And the colors go very well together. And you can still see uh, the colors of the pigments I've used, the Wild Fuchsia and the Crocus Magic. And for sure I'm going to uh, try this technique uh, 
more with my mica pigments because uh, you can also use my mica pigments in an acrylic binder so you can see so I'm almost done then I will let this dry for at least two weeks and then I will add a resin layer So we are two weeks later, now I'm going to add a resin layer, it dried okay, I have some parts um, that are a little bit rough, but hopefully the resin will uh, fix that, but it looks very nice for my first try, I'm very pleased with it, spreading the resin over my star painting and for the resin layer I'm using the Resin Pro Art Pro you can find the link in the description box below this video unfortunately they don't ship outside of Europe but uh, if you uh, buy from their website and you use my code PETRA, then you will get 10% on your total value order. So that's great. Also some resin onto the sides. And also if you are interested in my mica pigments, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box and if you read the description of the mica pigment then you will uh, find out if you can use them in an acrylic binder. Uh, for every uh, color I have added it and normally uh, the sparkly colors are not suitable for an acrylic binder because the particles of the mica are too large for it. But the finer, the pearl pigments are very suitable for an acrylic binder. And if you use an untinted base paint, then uh, the colors are very nice. So don't use an acrylic binder with titanium in it, because then they will all get pastel, and that's not nice. So the link to it is in the description box. Also, uh, my mica pigments are available in the USA and Canada by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. So uh, the link to her Etsy shop is also in the description box. And normally if you add a resin layer, the colors will be much more vibrant. So for sure I will be uh, experimenting uh, a little bit more with the bloom technique and um, try different mixtures and when I'm totally satisfied I will add the mix in the description box below this video. So this is the end result, I have it outside in the daylight, the sun is not shining so the sparkle will not be that visible, but for my first try I'm very pleased. There you can see the nice lacing with the black cell activator, I will include that mix into the description box, but it's not totally perfect. But we will experiment a little bit more with the mixture and then I will uh, show you that also. But so far I'm very pleased. So let me know what you think and if you like what I'm doing please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it a lot 
all the information to the supplies I've used you can find below this video. And I want to thank you all for watching again and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!